Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while. I wanted to come on here and film a holiday gift guide as the holidays are right around the corner. It's really like my favorite time of the year and gifting is, is one of my favorite things to do. I love, love, love gifting. And so I thought I'd just come on here and share some of my gift ideas for 2020. And I hope you guys enjoy it and that you find it helpful. For your gifting process. I really try to create a list of gifts that range from you know affordable to more if you want to splurge on somebody and you're, you're able to splurge um, so like luxury items. So yeah let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing on my list is a projector because I don't think a lot of people have projectors or at least I never had a projector. It's so nice if you have like a big wall in your house and you want to watch a movie not just on your like TV or on your computer, but you can just like project it. You can definitely find projectors that range from like 50 bucks to hundreds of dollars and that's really just up to you and the type of projector that you want. But I just think like a projector in general is a great gift, especially for someone who loves to watch movies. Okay, the next gift that I have is a camera. So for somebody who doesn't have a camera or wants to vlog or likes to just like take lots of pictures on their iPhone or videos, I think getting them a real solid quality camera is a great, great, great gift. I would recommend the Canon G7X, which is the one that everyone has. Like, like everyone who vlogs has it basically, but the one I have is the Canon G1X, which is a little bit, it's a little bit heavier, it's a little bulkier. I would really recommend the G7X um, because it's lighter and you can just throw it in your purse and you know, bring it anywhere with you. The next one is a coffee machine. The one I recommend is like an espresso machine. I have an espresso machine here at home, we love it. And if someone already has a coffee machine or an espresso machine, you could buy them accessories. So you could buy them, you know, capsules like Nespresso capsules. They also have different collections that come out. So you can buy them a special capsule collection. You could buy them. Oh, also you can buy them. I bought Tristan. It's like a tray where you put your machine on top of it and then you have the you can put all your capsules underneath it. It's like a pull-out tray. It's a wonderful organizer for your Nespresso machine and capsules. Or you could get, we also have a um, Nespresso capsule like organizer thing. And it's also another way to um, organize your capsules. They have so many different types of machines. You can get one with a frother, without a frother. Next one is actually something I really want for Christmas. It's, you know those clear glass mugs? insert picture here. Um, I, every time I go to coffee shops or I go to brunch or something and I get a drink in these cups, I love them so much because you could put really hot drinks in them and when you hold them, it's not super hot. It doesn't burn your hands and they're so aesthetically pleasing. So I think getting a set, someone a set of these clear glass mugs would be so cute for Christmas. Next is a Yeti. Okay, so last Christmas, my mom got us Tristan and I Yetis personalized yetis. I don't know if you can really, the lighting is kind of, but it says Belle and then this one says Tristan. It keeps your drink so cold like the whole day. Like he'll put coffee in it in the morning and put ice in it and by the end of the day when he gets home, there's still ice in it. So it's it's a really, really, really amazing product. I like mine with the, with the little holder thing but his doesn't have one, so. Okay, so the next gift is your favorite book. I think one of the most thoughtful gifts you can give someone is your favorite book, right? I think if you love to read and you have a book that you love so much and you know someone is an avid reader or loves to read, you could definitely give them, you know, your favorite book. I think that's super meaningful. Two books that I want to share that really helped me out. It quite honestly, helped me when I was going through heartbreak, but I think it could definitely be just like a great book gift in general. The first one is Milk and Honey. I read this, I think, in like a day. It is so good, you guys. It's like a collection of little poems, beautiful drawings, and then very aesthetically pleasing. It was a book that really helped me heal through my heartbreak, and it just, it was really powerful to me, and so I, I just sent this to my sister. And then the other one that I really loved was The Nectar of Pain. I love this book so much and it's it's a really beautiful book. So these two books I would 100% recommend to send to friends, sisters, brothers, like you know anyone who loves to read and is maybe going through a little bit of a tough time. 
great, 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 great gifts. Um, and then also just, just your favorite book in general, right? So the next item are subscriptions. I think subscriptions are a really, really great gift because like for example, I would never, for myself, I would never pay for a subscription like Birchbox. Like I'm just not into that, but if someone gifted it to me, I would really like it. So for example, I've, I gifted my mom and my sister a three or six month subscription to Birchbox and they loved it. If someone doesn't have like Netflix or they don't have Spotify or they don't have Apple Music or I don't know, Disney Plus, um, any type of subscription that they don't have that you know they would love, I think a subscription is a great idea. Another one is Kiva. I think if you know someone who really loves to give back, you could definitely do Kiva, which is a micro lending site. But the next suggestion I have is kind of an, in a non-COVID world. So I debated sharing this or not, but for, you know, for future years, if, you know, people are watching this, I think it would be useful. So for example, obviously concert tickets or sports tickets or spa day vouchers a spa day package is amazing a full day at the spa being pampered facial massage um, obviously right now i feel like in some parts of the world you can do that but in some parts of the world it's still the situation with covid is still very very bad so that would probably have to be put on hold okay so the next item i have is face wash and it's my I'm gonna recommend my number one face wash that I've used for years and years and years. It is the Lancome Gel Eclat Face Cleanser. I swear by this face wash, you guys. It is the absolute best face wash I've ever used. I think luxury skincare is really a great gift idea because people don't, or at least I don't really splurge on luxury skincare just because I, I don't know, it's just something I don't like to spend my money on. So if somebody gifted me a really, you know, a luxurious moisturizer, um, I would love that. And so there are definitely a bunch of different luxurious skincare items that you can find at Sephora. You could get it for, you know, your mom, sister, friend, whatever, boyfriend. Next item I have is a personalized, I'm, I am really big on personalizing gifts because I think personalized gifts are the most special and really just shows that you put a lot of thought into what you're giving them. So the next one I have is a personalized painting. I got one just recently for my sister. I'll insert a picture here too. I also just got one for Tristan for Christmas. And so I hope he doesn't watch this video before December 25th because then he'll know what I got for him. It was really not that expensive. I think it was 30 bucks. Another really cute personalized item that we received as a gift picture frame so it has all these pictures of Tristan and I we got this as our birthday gift because our birthday is a day apart I think it's such a cute home decoration we just I just put it up on my shelf um, I think this kind of thing is a great idea for your couple friends or it, it really can be for anybody you guys like your best friend um, your mom and dad so cute um, and they're like little they look like little Polaroids too happy birthday and pictures of us <laughs> You could do it yourself, honestly, and it's a really inexpensive, really special gift. Okay, next one is for dads, because dads are really the most difficult people to shop for, I swear. But two years ago, I got my dad a personalized, my dad loves to cook, he's like the chef of the fam, he loves to barbecue, and so I got him a personalized barbecue tray, or a cooking tray, I don't really know what they call it. And he loved it, it says like Ron's I forgot what it said, but it has his name on it, so I customized it, and um, he loves it. I also one time got my my dad and my fam a cutting board with all our names on it, and I think that's a great present for families, for dads, for moms. Okay, the next gift item is loungewear because obviously in a COVID world, everyone's staying at home a lot, and loungewear is the new it thing, I think. I feel like every every single online retail store is selling loungewear now. Find really cute, cozy loungewear, pajama sets, honestly for anyone. Um, but one loungewear set I really have been wanting to try has been the Skims loungewear set. She came out with her, I think her new cozy collection. It's been sold out, so you'd be on the wait list, but I think if you can find some way to get that, it, they look so cozy, so I don't know. That would be something really cool. Okay, so the next item on my list is basically home decor because I think at my age, a lot of people are have moved out of you know home, moved out of college, and are in their first apartment out of college. Me and Tristan just moved in together like a year ago, and so 
it's my first apartment that hasn't been, you know, at school. I really wanted to just decorate our home as best as I could, but home decor is expensive, you guys. Like, it's hard to find cute, cheap stuff. And so I think if you have any friends who are really into home decor or have just moved into their first apartment or whatever, it would be really great to get them like home gifts and stuff. So for example, I don't know, I don't know, candles are a great um, piece of decor. Like this one I have from Jo Malone. I have never opened it because it's just so cute with the bow. Flower vases, vases. I think coffee table books is a great, great, great gift idea for your interior decorator kind of friend. I really want coffee table books, but they're so expensive and I don't know where to find cheap, cute coffee table books. The next item I have is a wine glass set. Tristan didn't have any wine glasses actually before I moved in with him. Yeah, so Tristan's dad gifted us a entire wine glass set, red wine glass set, and it was so beautiful and it's been so useful. The okay, next is perfume. I think if you buy people minis, that's a really great gift. So the one that I recommend, the one that I use every day is Chanel Chance perfume, the pink one. It's my absolute favorite perfume and I think they, they do come in like a mini travel size, which is so cute and I highly recommend that. You can also buy at Sephora, I think, a bunch of minis, like really mini minis that come in a set. So then whoever you're gifting it to can try out a bunch of different scents and then when they know which one they like, they can go out and buy the full the full size. The next item on my list is an iPhone case and specifically a case to buy because I absolutely love their cases. They have so many different cases available to you guys and there's so many customizable ones. So the one that I have that I got myself, shake it, is this beautiful, silver glitter case with my name on it. Ugh, I love, I'm still obsessed with it. Um, I actually bought two, so I bought this one and I bought another one that is it's a mirror case with my name on it, but I have not used it yet because I'm still obsessed with this one. I just think it's so fun. And they have so many different types of um, cases, you guys. I, I get the maximum protection one because it's super thick and so I drop my phone a lot. So, oh, one of them that I really like also is they have cases that kind of have, um, you know the luggage tag stickers that you get on your bags at the airport? And I think you can customize them, I'm not sure, but my mom has it and it's so cute. So I think Case to Buy is a great, great, great iPhone case gift idea. Next is a Nintendo Switch. We got my brother a Nintendo Switch last year for Christmas and he loves it. I just think it's one of those gifts that can't go wrong, you know? And then for brothers who like to game, like my brother Reagan is like so into gaming right now. So, so if you have a 14 year old brother who's also really, really into gaming, um, I would recommend buying an Xbox voucher because they like to spend, you know, they like to buy all that stuff on Fortnite or I don't know, COD, I don't know what he plays. Um, so an Xbox voucher, my brother has a light up keyboard that he really loves. So I think if your brother's a gamer and likes to play on his computer, you definitely buy him like one of those light up keyboards. And then another idea is also a computer monitor, um, a really good quality computer monitor. All right, continuing with the electronics theme, I think a power bank is a really underrated gift because actually, Everyone needs a power bank and people who don't have a power bank don't know that they need a power bank But they need a power bank because power banks like save lives. No, I'm kidding But power banks are really a great gift like Tristan for example never had a power bank We would arrive at the airport to go on a 24-hour journey to somewhere and he'd arrive at the airport and his phone is at 1% and I'm like <laughs> You need a power bank. Okay next AirPods, I think AirPods are a great gift idea for someone who doesn't have AirPods because I didn't have AirPods, AirPods before and I didn't know I needed them, but I love them. Um, and you can get them customized. So I got Tristan's AirPods customized and I just had his initials engraved in the back of his AirPod case, which is so cute. And you could get them really cute AirPod covers too. Um, I got mine from Case Divide and got Tristan's one from Off-White. So you can definitely play around with that and customize it at how you wish. And also an Apple Watch. Tristan didn't have an Apple Watch and I got him an Apple Watch last Christmas and he loves it because if you have someone who's really into tracking like their sleep, their fitness, their exercise, their heart rate, like all that stuff, the Apple Watch is great for them. 
um, and Tristan loves it. He's it's like his best friend. And also, you're with the Apple Watch, you can customize and pick like so many different types of bands that you could that you can gift along with the Apple Watch itself. All right, the next one that I have is a scrapbook. I love scrapbooking, you guys, and I. So I made Tristan this scrapbook when we first started dating and it's really cute, just like a plain scrapbook and basically, um, I mean, I gotta tell you guys, this takes time. And so like, for example, I have, I have like my plane ticket that I used to go see him like when we were doing long distance. Like pictures, really cute stuff. This is also another plane ticket that I had when I went to see him. So I think scrapbooking is one of the most thoughtful things that you can do for somebody, um, especially if you're in a relationship. And just keep in mind, it takes a while, it takes a lot of time. So I think for anyone, your dad or your boyfriend or um, your significant other, if they're working, I think a pen, a nice pen would be a really great idea. Because like for example, Tristan, I got him this pen when he started working um, on his restaurant and started, you know, making business deals and all that stuff. So I got him this cute little pen from Mont Blanc. This is definitely if you want to splurge, but I definitely know you can buy, you know, really nice pens for not as much as this. Um, but I just think the idea of having a nice pen, you know, is, is really nice for someone who, you know, maybe has just started their professional career or something. The next item I have is a laptop sleeve. This one can also range from like really inexpensive to really expensive. Um, one of the ones that I have that I really love is my LV one that Tristan got me. It could be a laptop sleeve or it could be a document holder, but I think there's so many cute um, laptop sleeves out there, laptop cases that you really can't go wrong because there's so many options, but I think everyone would love a good laptop case. Next one is like a necklace. I'm talking about a necklace for your boyfriend because Tristan, it depends on your boyfriend's aesthetic, obviously, like if he's someone who's into jewelry or not and into like a, a chain necklace or not. So Tristan does like the necklace look, gotten him a stone kind of like pendant necklace before. And these can also range from really inexpensive to expensive if you want to splurge. And I just think, if your guy likes jewelry, I think a little pendant necklace from you that he can wear with him all the time is a really cute idea. Um, I got mine from David Yerman. Um, that definitely is on the pricier range. Next, for guys, for I, I bought this for Tristan, so for your boyfriend, um, I think slides are a really great um, gift. So Tristan loves his Nike slides. And I also have gotten him like Gucci slides, so you can definitely also buy, you know, slides on like really inexpensive slides or really luxurious slides. Next is a toiletry bag. I got him a really nice toiletry bag one year and he uses it every single day. So yeah, I think a toiletry bag is a really great gift idea for, for guys, for men. Next, um, home slippers. I just took this off my feet. Um, these are Uggs that Tristan got me last Christmas and I absolutely love them, you guys. They're the most comfortable shoes I have ever worn in my life. I wear them at home all the time. Those are all the gifts that I had on my list that I wanted to share with you guys. I really hope that it was helpful. I know that gift giving sometimes can be really stressful, so I just hope that this video gave you some ideas of things that you could buy for your loved ones this Christmas. And I hope that you guys have a very wonderful, very Merry Christmas. And to all of those people out there who can't be at home like me for the Christmas holiday season, hang in there. I am feeling exactly the same thing. I miss my family so much. It's been next month, December, will have been a year since I've seen my family. And that's the longest time I've ever gone without seeing my family. And I really try not to think about it because it's really, Sad, but Tristan and I are doing our best to make sure this Christmas is a very merry one even though I am really far away from my family. As long as everyone is safe and healthy, that's really all that matters and that's honestly the best Christmas gift I could get this Christmas. So yeah, everyone, I hope you guys stay safe. I hope you have a very merry Christmas. And just wanna say thank you to all of you guys for watching this video and, and look at my M&M pants. <laughs> I actually got Christmassy. I didn't even intend to like. Happy gifting, happy 
holiday season. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.